everyone, and welcome to We Speak. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're back again for yet another. We're back again for yet another. You had me smile. We're back again eyes. for yet another. <laughs> like, your eyes smile okay, so beautifully. Like, if I even see yeah, well, it, I, I mean, smiling just from looking at his eyes. Always. Five, four, three, two. Good evening. I'm Jeffrey Brown. <laughs> Just pans over and she's already smiling. You're such a happy person. I love that you're so happy. Good evening. I'm Shayna Taylor. Sorry, I need to put this in the box. Oh, nasty. I want to put something in that box. Me next, me next. You and everyone else wants to put something in my box. Hashtag me too. Okay. Hello, I'm Dr. Rashawn Broadnax. I'm Riley Knox. Hi, I'm Alvin King, and this is We Speak. everyone and welcome to we speak well we're back yet again for another chat fest allow me to welcome back to our show mr uh, jeffrey brown thank you thank you um who's filling in for our very own ernest collins who's not with us tonight due to a prior engagement welcome again jeffrey i'm glad to have you back you know, i always love being here <laughs> with you all it's my second family so you know and my mini ready to get into <laughs> well as the title says, lest we get to speaking, okay? <laughs> okay. Uh, here's what title says that? <laughs> okay, That's the new okay. you know what? You know, I just read that teleprompter. <laughs> here's a few questions that our producer found on the OG Chronicles. And for those of you who don't know uh, what the OG Chronicles is, it's Oprah and Gail's YouTube show. Again, these questions are from their viewers, their viewers on that show. So here we go. Um, one viewer says, I accidentally texted a friend uh, talking, about, talking about her. I meant to send a message to, to another friend. Now uh, she hasn't talked to me for days. How do I clean up this mess, or can, can this be cleaned up at all? And I saw that, and Oprah and Gail both said, you don't clean it up. First of all, you need to figure out why you're the type of person that talks about people behind now. their back. Come on. Oprah said that. Come but on. that's also my sentiment, too. Come on. Like, you, you shouldn't be talking about your friend. If that's your friend, why are you talking about her? And it serves you right for accidentally. I wonder what she said. Yeah. yeah. Like, I mean, it's like, right, it's so it's something. some things. Like, I wonder if she was really talking about her or commenting about Negatively. Something. Or talking right. about yeah, the situation. Yeah, talking about a situation. Mm -hmm. Where it's like, girl, I didn't told you that already, right. too. But now I'm sharing with somebody What's else to get their feedback. <laughs> like, because like, like, then you just apologize. Right. right. Is, it, is it something that you can say to her? As you said, talking about it to the person that you right. meant to send right. it to, because I feel like you wouldn't be so apologetic if right. you had not. But said get that this. Message. That friend, she, that person that she was talking about, should also be mad at the person she was talking about. Right. Because why? You gonna let her talk about me? Right. Mm -hmm. Talking to you about me this way. Talking, yeah, talking to her about, yeah. Well, well I can't so. help that. But, 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 <laughs> I'm gonna listen. Okay. But whatever the case may be, the person who sent it, you know when you've done something yeah, wrong. She has oh, to absolutely. apologize. You absolutely. know when you've done something wrong. So if you sent something wrong, you need to. Um, I know they said um, on the show, you said, Oprah said, mm -hmm. don't do anything. No, I think you should get Apologize. out of your cowardly way and, and confront it. No, she was saying there's no coming back from that. Like, you can't, like there's you no can't way to explain, explain your way, way out of it. No, you can't explain your way. You just have negative. to apologize. And now the friend won't talk to her, and she's just like, how do you don't? It was no, it wasn't a good thing. You guys thought it was good? It's well, I don't no. know. Well, no, I just wonder how bad. So, okay, so let's say. How about hygiene? I was about to say, oh. like, maybe she said something like her feet stink. Well, why are you talking to Shayna about why I smell so bad? Why aren't you coming to me as my friend? And okay, but what if she said, um, I intend to go to Riley about this, but 
That wasn't in the conversation. The oh. Well, right. I don't know what the conversation was. The no, I'm sorry. Is, is I wonder how the conversation started, right? Because I'm like, I'm not going to just all of a sudden text Riley. You know Alvin stinks. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Come on, now. You know, you know that Alvin means stinks. the other person was also talking you, about it, too. They you, were having to talk about the subject. You, you so she should be that. mad at both of the friends. But wait, okay, so wait. So they must have, if they were already talking about something, then she shouldn't say the name now. Like, if there was already a text thread uh, right. going. That was the initial mm -hmm. conversation. Right. You know that Trisha smells. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, how does that person's name like, now Trisha's come up her, in right. this text? It, 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 I, think, I think she should just go okay. ahead and clean it up. Just okay. apologize. You know, so here's apologize the question. Then. And keep moving. Just but, apologize. So then here's the question. If that's the case, she should apologize. Under what pretenses, what conversation could the friend have talking about you that you would forgive them? Would, would it be something about oh. hygiene, about your attitude, your personality, your character? What what would it be okay for me to talk about you behind your back and you forgive me? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm not saying that the friend should forgive her. I'm mm -hmm. saying that she should apologize. Mm -hmm. right. Yeah, but Oprah but, said I mean, there's no moving on. I mean, you're not going to be friends after this. You really? Well, but, but still, you have to clear your conscience oh, okay. and apologize. Yeah. That you're, 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 you're and the I think person. it depends on what the nature of the actual conversation was. Like, what was actually said, because that is you know, really could be really broad. That's what I'm talking it about. could be well, really like specific and kind of gritty. Because if, like, so let's say it was about hygiene. Like, you can't I can't, you can't come back with me <laughs> from telling Rajon, I stink, but you never said anything to me. You never said anything to me. Right. So about to about to okay, but how about a character flaw? A character flaw either. I was going to say, see, we, 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 we're, we're sitting here, we're dissecting that context of okay. content of what we don't know. So we need to move on. Yeah, we move okay, on. We, we, we need to move on. Okay, so <laughs> another person asked uh, Oprah and Gail, whenever I go to concerts with a Caucasian friend of mine, she says the N-word during songs. Ooh. How do I get her to stop? Stop taking her to those <laughs> concerts okay. with artists that say the N-word. Next time she do it, you tap her shoulder. Leave her home. Okay, I'm going to play devil's advocate here for this. She buying the tickets for She gets to sing whatever they say. Right. If this is what I'm song, saying to you. Th this is what I do, <laughs> what. Now, obviously, I don't think that it's okay for someone that is not black to use that word, or is, even sometimes black people use that word. But the problem is artists want you to buy their music and, you know, support their career, but then not sing along to their song. So it's like if, you know, you know I don't understand I that sometimes. I get to sing it. I get yeah, to say I feel like it. At, so you're there with me? Okay. So I thought I was going to be on an island alone. <laughs> but, <laughs> but I'm serious. Like, you want me to buy your music, come to your concerts, but then I can't sing along to the song, then you shouldn't be even you singing shouldn't it. shouldn't sing it. Well, I think the nature of this particular question is that the person is white. So you're That's taking a white person but, but, to but, a but, concert. But she's saying, well, I, I seem like the person who's who's has the issue or asking the question is only asking it because the person is white. Right. If it was a, an African American person doing it, would it be okay? Oh, it, it would be, be a question. Because she it's mentioned only that this person's white. Don't take a white person to a Jay Z concert <laughs> do and expect him not to sing Jigamine right. Robert. <laughs> <laughs> like, you just want them to just say jig up right <laughs> like right. Right. they're in the show yeah no it's don't, don't say, do I'm it not, do that little awkward I'm not style. censoring my song okay. so girlfriend yeah. We think collectively yeah. leave your friend home or don't or don't or don't let her buy your ticket to the next. Right. Uh, you know, uh, you and know. Why you got a white friend anyway? Oh, 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 no, 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 no. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Okay, I'm moving kidding. right along. Did you take it out in public? Another question is. My, my friend's boyfriend is uh, ring shopping and wants my help. But I know my friend doesn't want to marry him. Oh. What should I do? <laughs> well, they got some good Whoa. questions on the Tell your friend. Whoa. Tell your friend. Save your no. money, boo. Tell you, no, tell your friend, look, <sighs> he is trying to buy you a ring, and I know you don't want to marry him, but he came to me. And and, and, and by the way, that was also Oprah and Gil. See, I'm cheating. But, <laughs> but it's also mine, too. Like, I agree, of course, with Oprah. But... but you know, you should tell your friend if Shayna, he's about to buy you a ring, and I know. Girl, you don't make get sure that. you pick out a good one. No, no, I, I, I know do, you don't want to marry him. Yeah, well, I do now. Pick out a good one. It depends I on what that ring, ring. looks like. I want Screenshot this, it like, and send it to me. It's gonna sit right here on this finger. But that's not the question. But that's what I was saying. But I'm saying the question is, is if you, you're, if this guy came to you and you know your friend doesn't want to marry this guy, but the guy came to you with help picking out the ring, you should go and tell your friend. Oh, I would help him pick out a great ring that I know she would love. 
And then she's still going to say no. And ah, she'll down. keep the ring. Okay. No, my friend. It's the ring. It's the You said, how many do I have? No, what kind of friends do you have? Uh, I was going to say, how many oh, do okay. I have? I'm going to tell you how many men they don't want to marry and then let them down easy later. <laughs> but what does it say about the but what, friend but how much time is she spending? No, no, no. You cry? My thing is, no, what does it say about your friend? How much time is your friend spending with someone making them think, think right. they want to marry them mm -hmm. and they don't want to marry them. What are you putting on No that? offense to all the guys on the panel right now. <laughs> she don't have nothing else to do. But sometimes <laughs> guys are not the, not that sharp. Uh, not all guys. I said sometimes okay. guys are not <laughs> that <laughs> Sometimes they're not that sharp to pick up on the hints that she does not want to but marry But she's yet. spending time with him. Well, it doesn't matter. Okay, so but maybe, spend time maybe with guys she's, she's spending marry. time with him and she's not in the same place where he is. That's He's like, kind of like now, rushed that, ahead. That, and, and, and she needs to tell him that. But her friend who's, him on. who's being asked to go ring shopping, shopping needs to tell her to do that. that. Because Look, you're she's, leading him on. She's in the middle yeah. and she needs to get out of that because like that, that. that can only be messy moving forward. But I don't, you know what, you know, that could go up. Uh, a totally different way mm -hmm. because if if the friend tells the girl you and then the girl engagement. goes and, yeah. and says that to the guy the guy could be upset with the friend for even bringing it up because he might say well I figured if I got this ring she might have done it mm -hmm. but now you've let the cat out of the bag which gave her time to think about it and now she shot me down before I even that's did it. That's a hot, that's did. a, it's a hot that's real <laughs> scenario. <laughs> but you just but I just thought I, I believe you just now. Okay, I, Every I, girl I, deserves the right yeah. to get the proposal. And because then it's up that, to her to to say what she needs to I say. I still is think the girlfriend needs is to this stop this leading him on. She's, she's leading him yeah. on to doing something that's making him <laughs> want, want, want to buy that ring. Okay. Is this okay. ring worth? Okay. Or I'm passive aggressive. Like, girl, I feel like wedding bells are coming soon. <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, girl, you, you, you better yes, get you are. interested. <laughs> are you, are you no. five carat interested? <laughs> are you oval shaped? Well, that's the wrong reason are to marry a guy for a ring. I know you love jewelry, but that's not a good uh, choice. I'm going to marry him. I said to accept the ring. Put this line right. <laughs> okay, 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 we're moving. Okay, number four. Okay, um, another uh, person asked this question. I recommended a friend for a job at my company, but since she's gotten the gig, mm -hmm. she's been doing a half ass is a word I can say on here job. Um, should I say something to my friend, or how would you address that situation? Now, yeah. I've, been in this, I've been in this situation, so. I, yeah. I've been in it. And, and oh, my, I'm let y'all answer before I tell you what Oprah said. My, 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 mine, was, mine was family. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I did a favor for someone, my family member, mm -hmm. friend. And that friend didn't step up right. And I, it almost cost, cost me my job. Oh, wow. Oh, now so, that's different. Right, right. So I, I've been there. And um, yeah. yeah. And well, first of all, I would definitely talk to the person that I got the job. Because and I always feel like you give them the benefit of the doubt going to them first right. and you put them on notice like hey this is what's going on this is what people are seeing this is what's happening you need to fix it now beyond that you kind of let them deal and let the chips fall where they may well you and disassociate yourself right <laughs> so this was i don't know you Robert. answer oprah and gail's answer was you need to go talk to that friend because they're making you look bad mm -hmm. and you best believe that they're not only talking about her or him, they're, they're also talking, talking about, about you. About you. Right. Because you right. recommend it. Right. Say, you are a reflection, a reflection. of me mm -hmm. I put my you name say, look, you need to get your, your name. together. So when they talk about you, exactly, they're yeah. going to talk about yeah. me too. So now they're going to look into my worth ethic and like, yeah. how are you working? Like, mm -hmm. what are you, no. I'm going to do that and disassociate myself and, from them. I'm going like, well, to start you. separating myself. If you, but, but the thing about that is once you refer somebody or recommend somebody, mm -hmm. I feel like it's your responsibility to keep an eye on to them To kind of anyway. coach them. Like, you <clears> should <throat> kind of know that they're slacking right. off before other people mm -hmm. start saying it, it, depending on how closely you're right, working you're together. Right, you're working together. I, mm -hmm. I can't even, well, in, in, in my situation, it wasn't that kind of slacking off. It was something that I couldn't see. Mm -hmm. And this person, let me put it this way, because I don't want to, uh, let me put it this way. I was asked, does your friend have any allergies? Oh, wow. Okay, I got you. Go ahead. <gasps> oh, that's not good. And, mm. I, and I thought, well, not that I know of. Right. And I, they said, well, you need sniffing? to come with me. Mm -hmm. And that's how that right. unfolded. Okay. Oh. And it was not 
that's what you got from that. I was right, like, that's what oh, I'm <laughs> oh. I got you. Go ahead. Right. And so <laughs> I, I, I'm trying. I'm trying to. I don't. I don't want to. You know. I don't. Yeah. But I, she yeah. was sitting at her desk, that's and her right. nose started bleeding. <laughs> 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 I was like, oh but, my god. But so how I addressed it, I tried to. I I I confronted it in a very aggressive way. Okay. Yeah. And I with even, the person that you recommended when they came to. Yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. When they came to, <laughs> <too, laughs> right? <laughs> Wait a minute. Okay, we have to, okay. we'll have to talk about okay. this off camera okay. because okay. I, do, I want ahead. more details. But, but I guess the, the, the I, I would address it. I, I agree yeah. with. Yeah. I, would, I would address it with you. For the sake of your own job, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Sake, because your reputation right. is the most important yeah, thing that you have mm-hmm. going for you. Mm-hmm. And the sad part about that is that's that's why people are so funny about recommending people for anything. Yeah. Right. You know, because you realize you hold a lot of responsibility. Exactly. Yes, yes. I won't go on. Go. Okay. This question that I'm about to go into right now, <laughs> it may take us into a break, okay. but I'm going to go ahead and ask the question right now. Um, okay. Here's a random thought that popped into our producer's head based on a conversation he had with Raleigh Knox after a video went viral um, of an African-American woman in Loveland, Texas, in a Loveland, Texas Walmart for removing the top off of an ice cream container, licking it, uh, and putting the top back on uh, before putting the container back into the freezer. Uh, now, according to CNN, <laughs> the authorities are looking for this, uh, for this woman yeah. and stating that she will face up to 20 years for the act when caught. But recently in St. Pete, Florida, on June 17th, an Asian woman. That's a beautiful named, day. Named, named, named <laughs> June Sung Wipicha, I think her name is, doing something far worse yes. than this act in a store on camera yes. and was caught caught on June 8th but she was charged for with criminal mischief and violating the Florida's anti-tampering act of which I don't know if that carries anything I don't, mm-hmm. I, don't I don't know um, but our producer wants to know why there's no safety seal on some ice cream brands when there's practically a combination lock on every other food item and his part two, hold on, is the question. A manhunt went out for this African-American woman, this young lady, with some calling her to be thrown in jail. But the same cry wasn't heard when Ariana Grande licked donuts, then returned them to the case, if you remember that story. I don't remember, I don't remember that. that, but I thought the ice cream lady, I didn't know she was African-American. Oh, she was. Oh, she was. She, she, she was, was a very young African-American she, girl. Yes. Really? And I, when, when, so when first... I'm sorry. No, when when he, when Tony told me, our producer's name is Tony, ladies and gentlemen. When when he told me, I had to do my research because I hadn't heard it. Mm-hmm. Okay. And he said, "Yeah." So the first issue, the first question was, why is there not a safety seal on a lot of the cheaper brands? There's not a safety seal, um, and a lot of the more expensive ones, there's like this plastic. Right. Well, even after you right. open it, there <clears throat> might be a thing that you have to pull back, or right. there's a plastic that keeps you from opening <clears throat> right. it. And on the small ones, <clears throat> right. on the pints. On the on the on pints. The small she opened the, the, a very big. Yeah, the large the ones have one. nothing mm-hmm. on any of them. Well, see, and that's probably why I don't know because I'm not gonna eat no cheese. Okay, so I'm oblivious. This is the other thing because people were in the comments on the shade room. You know, shade room comments are. They're very entertaining, but uh, people were saying, "Well, you know, black people, because we were taught to always pull from the back anyway." <laughs> so, there you go. And I'm telling you, I'm gonna tell you, even if I go buy a magazine, yes, even I if I look back. through that magazine, I yes. get me a fresh one yes. from the back. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Too bad. I'm not, not buying the one I looked through. I sure oh, don't. Oh, right. right. You know what's alarming? It's starting to be a trend. It's a yep, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, that's right. It's, not, it's gone from ice creams to now like Arizona bottles. Like I just recently saw a video of a guy. He was in 7-Eleven. He took a, like one of those jug Arizona bottles, opened it up, spit in it, and then put it back on there. But they tell you the if the if, if the, the seals because the seals right. 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 that you're not supposed to drink out of that. Mm-hmm. But, but see, that like, was my issue with that is people are going to be copycatting it. And she yeah. put on Twitter, she told she even created a hashtag called Ten Roof that she wanted people to um, copycat what she was doing. She was encouraging yeah, exactly. them. But I already wow. knew people were going to copycat <clears throat> it because they thought it was like funny and cool and a cool prank. Disgusting. It's disgusting. It's disgusting. It's disgusting. The, the, well, but I already, I don't care. Whenever I pick up anything in a store, mm-hmm. I don't care what it is. I'm looking at it to see if it's been broken. It can be. It can if be the anything. can is dented if the a little can bit. Is dented, right. I'm, it's not, I'm not buying it. I'm with well, you. I'm going to put it away. back anyway. Cause you know they put the, the, the back my head, like somebody put their they put the heads. later date ones in the back. Yeah. And it's yeah. always yeah. And I'm the always going for the those anyway. Like, it's always in the back. Yep, anyway. I go for those. I, anyway. I told you all this was going to be somewhat of a nasty show. <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, can it get any more nastier than that? 
Well, I, I, I guess it can, but while you're thinking about that. Go ahead. We go, <laughs> Dr. Rashad, yeah. our broad next. We're going to go into a break, and we'll okay. be right back, because I know you have more to say. I do. We'll As be, always. We will be right back. <laughs> I got four more No, we, we will be right back. <laughs> Thanks for keeping your mouth shut. <laughs> Thanks for minding your own business. Come on, show me the good ones. Thanks for not telling my girlfriend. Say that to me. Hi! Thanks for not telling anyone. When you do nothing, you're helping him. But when you do something, you help her. Thanks for telling the bartender. Thanks for stopping him. Thanks for telling HR. Thanks for getting help. Who will you help? Stop sexual harassment and violence when you see it. I'm calling the police on you. Black and Kate barbecue. Are you tired of the racist bullshit that we experience as minorities in America? Well, friends, do I have a solution for you? White woman tears, salty, organic, and proven to give us the lives we deserve. We fresh in our lab. We deprive our white women of kale, Starbucks, and yoga to ensure that you get the highest quality possible of white woman tears. <coughs> fresh. I was just out trying to sell some shea butter. And this white woman called the cops on me, telling me I need a permit. So, I got my white woman tears, sprinkled on her like holy water. The cops came and took her ass away. Mm -hmm. Order your white woman tears today. Side effects include occasional outbursts, passive aggressive behavior, writing annual letters to corporate offices, and the desire to no longer season their food. In one word, communities and schools is connection. Relentless. Hope. Humbling. Okay, cut. Let's try one where you seem like you're happy to be here. Humbling. Good enough. Like the name says, I'm bringing the power of community into schools. My job is about building one-on-one -on -one relationships that help kids write their own story and shape their future. And I'm a celebrity spokesperson, which is also a very important role. Because some kids come to school with adult-sized problems, we do whatever it takes to help them show up for school, focus on learning, and see their own potential for success. My mom was a single parent and struggled to make ends meet for her children. Communities and schools provided me with food bags every week to ensure I didn't go hungry. Ooh, my personal chef makes this amazing gluten-free pasta which tastes like it's made out of nothing but gluten. He can come make that for you outside of my eating hours. By being in schools full time, we see the real reasons why kids don't show up to school and can help get to the root of the problem. We keep a closet stocked with clothing for any child that needs a new pair of shoes or a warm jacket. Ooh, I got this track suit, but it's made out of bees. Wore it to the Emmys last year underneath my tuxedo. It was real tight, right? Point is, it's lightly used. You guys can have that if you want. Like we said, we help provide the essentials. Look, I'm just saying the thing's worth like $30,000, and I heard once the winter hits and the bees dies, it'll be like 70 million. It's not true, I made it up. I'm saying it's gonna be a lot of money. Oh, we will make doctor's appointments for children and we'll even drive them. Oh, like an assistant. Yo, come on. Well, you can use mine to grab your dry cleaning, but only if he's already out getting my dry cleaning. If you want a green juice or something, he can probably hook you okay, up with something. Okay, let's What's up? That's enough. Thanks so much. It's right. not working out, so um, have a good one. You fine with me? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <sighs> Nothing is more important than being there for a child. Nothing. 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 Which is why we don't need a celebrity spokesperson. We need you. Go to communitiesandschools.org to find out how you can help. See, this is the thing. People commit crimes nowadays and they 
they they commit these crimes and they put them on um, on social media like idiots. Like why are y'all so stupid enough to put it on social media? Yes. Am I going back to? Yes, I'm, I'm sorry. Am I going back to that last question? Yeah. Not too much time. Not too much time. Well, please change that clock. Why is it on 96 minutes? Go ahead. Okay, got it. Okay. Yeah, thanks. Because I'm watching the clock. Okay. <laughs> Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, uh, to our show. Uh, I'm Alvin King, and, and this is We Speak. Before we went to a break, we were talking about, um, actually, as Jeffrey Brown has said, it seemed to be becoming some type of trend where yeah. people are going into stores and opening products and, and doing crazy, nasty things like licking, spitting, and all that other kind of stuff. Uh, but we had some more information that we wanted to share with you about that topic. Uh, one, sp specifically, the young, the woman in Florida, um, I was asked, what did she do? Um, she, she not only licked the container, she took the item into the bathroom and urinated inside the item and then brought it back. And all of this is on camera. And then they even said that they have seen her do it before. So I don't know what store she is and whatever she did, they had to clear out the entire they said they had to clear out the entire case of whatever she had done with, wow. done her business yeah, in. the whole freezer. The whole, the whole Which thing. Which now jacks up the price. But everything had to happen. Of everything. People, so I, I wanted to share that with you. They had asked me, well, what did she do? And that, that's what happened. But, Raleigh, you had something that you wanted to talk yeah, about. Yeah, people need to understand that tampering with food is a felony, one. Mm -hmm. And not only that, it's crazy because people are doing this stuff like for clout and putting it and dumb enough to put it on social media and like that's they how they're getting caught. caught. That's how they're getting caught and then you're doing something that's going to ruin your your life, career, whatever for the rest of your life. It's just it's insane. But what was crazy to me is when it first happened, everyone was just like, that's disgusting. Oh, my God, they should throw, lock her up, throw away the key, mm -hmm. put her under the jail, all this stuff. And I was definitely feeling the same way. And some people were like, she should be killed, all this stuff. And then as soon as they realized that it was an African-American woman and that they're going to throw two to 20 years at her, they're like, oh, that's too much. Like, I mean, what she did was bad, but it's just because she's black and stuff. So what do you want? You want her to get life? You want her to die? Or do you want her to get off just because she's black and there's a lot of people that are black in prison already? Because right. they were saying that they're like, the, you know, there's people that, you know, are in jail for committing murder that are got um, shorter crimes, sure sentences than crime. that. That is all true, but like, pick us up. What, like, what do you want to happen? But they wouldn't be, wouldn't have that same energy if they had eaten that ice cream. Oh yeah, it's terrible. Well, but and, and to everybody who's listening to us and watching us talk about this, I guess now we're in, a, we're in a climate where you need to be mindful of whatever you do. I've always been careful. So I'm, I'm like, if, if a can is dented, I'm not buying it. Yeah. You know, if a box has looked like it's been tampered with, I'm not going to buy it. Yeah. So just, just you know, pay careful. attention and, and be, be, be mindful that we have these people out here doing these crazy things right now. They out there you licking lids, y'all. Yeah. Licking lids. <laughs> 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 so now I've got to be vigilant. <laughs> when I get out my car at night. Right. I gotta be vigilant now when I'm doing my grocery shopping. Right. Oh my word. Or figuring sad. out whose Uber you're getting into. <laughs> I mean, I've gotta be vigilant. <laughs> I can never let my guards down. Happened? Well, yeah. better safe than sorry. Mm, okay. Sure so recently, Twitter was all abuzz about personal hygiene. <laughs> there are some that have admitted that when they're showering, they don't wash their legs. <laughs> they feel that if, if you're washing the top part of your body, then gravity will allow the water to wash over the legs so that you do not have to address it directly. Oh. How do you guys oh. feel about this? Disgusting! <laughs> Disgusting! <laughs> Where is this stuff coming this from? Is my people. Disgusting! <laughs> keep saying that, Shana. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. This is ten year old boys oh, and white people. God. Disgusting. There's no one to <laughs> but, say that. But it's making oh, it on Twitter and it's disgusting. making it's making <laughs> headlines. That's that, that is just gross. My number one turn off in life, number one, <laughs> is bad hygiene. That's a non-negotiable for me. Whether I'm dating somebody, bad hygiene of Ooh. any kind is a pet peeve of mine. Well, that's not bad hygiene. Maybe, I was going to say. the water's going to go the, down. The, the, the water, but I will tell you this. Because, you know, some, <laughs> some, some, you know, some type of, and I TMI, some type of chemistry, um, 
aroma, smell, or body something <laughs> oh, for no. people. Oh, it, it's, it's attractive to other people. It's not all bad, it's I odd. think, right? <laughs> okay, so, so this is my thing with that. Right? When you lather your body, mm -hmm. uh -oh. the... <laughs> Do you want me to get technical? <laughs> the surfactants in, okay. <laughs> but the lather okay. is washing the dirt down. So if you don't wash it off the bottom, it's collecting as it's it slides down. Dirt. That is it's disgusting. Dirt. It's it's dirty but then there's right. also an issue as to what you wash first: your legs or your. For, do you wash from top to bottom? Or but they bottom say to they top? don't wash their legs. So they don't want to but wash were, I'm saying legs. that was another issue. And a certain celebrity friend of mine, I won't mm -hmm. name her name, Taylor Swift. Um, she, <laughs> <laughs> she, um, she. This happened because she was saying that she does. It, she shaves her legs every day. Okay. And because she's lathering her legs and shaving them, that's considered washing them for her. It is and exfoliating. Okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. and exfoliating. Okay. Exactly. So that's how it, it, some of it started. Um, but she's a I want to tell you guys this. A lot of the reasons that a lot of people get back knee and body acne mm -hmm. is because Dang things cool. that have been collected on the top, washed mm -hmm. down, right. especially like conditioner. Mm -hmm. Like if you don't, if you wash your hair and your conditioner sits, uh, goes on your body, it causes you to break out sometimes. Yeah. Like people get back and back. So, exactly. So, so you have to wash everything. If it's on your I'm body, saying. wash Every it. Wash everything. Get I mean, in there, can, out can there, I all around. Can uh, that I think is very important to, and people may not, I think you should get rid of all your hand towels and stop using them and use like loofahs to wash because it exfoliates you have to. It will exfol exfoliate your skin. And you know, black people are passionate and, about a and, rag. And and, and, and <laughs> put put that wash rag that your mom and dad have been telling you to use all your life. Put Absolutely. It away and go to the store and get one of those little one dollar little well, loofah things. Well, you can't bleach them. Oh no, no. But, but I'm going to tell you well, something about the loofah sponge. I got to tell you this. this. You, I've got to tell tell you guys about the loofah because people think people think that that loofah lasts forever. It does It's got a two week shelf life, and then you have to get rid of it. That's why it unravels for so long. You see. The people with the ones that have unraveled and completely they and they're going to not use it. They're supposed to replace that. It holds, like, back, don't, don't, don't that. It holds bacteria. Right. Exactly. You right. have to get rid of that. Right. You right. cannot right. just keep using that for a whole right. two months. Right. And right. that's why people prefer the rags because it's cheaper. You can be <laughs> and you can so people, No, people really out here walking around smelling like Dr. Bronner. <laughs> And unclean chin. Yes, if they like, can afford the doctor brought because you know that's the good stuff. Okay, mm -hmm. but, okay. Well, they, well, they say it runs down, so I'm, I'm imagining they getting something mm -hmm. good that is so good that it like it your top smells so good. But your bottom, your bottom, your bottom is ragged. Your bottom is ragged. Your bottom is ragged. People just wash everything and preferably from top to bottom, so that whatever goes down there. My God. Yeah. Do that. Okay. Okay. Cool. While we're on the subject of personal hygiene, still, I told y'all this is a nasty show. Something else our producer noticed in the comments that were posted on Twitter. Apparently, there are some staunchy, staunchly heterosexual men that don't believe in washing their buttock area because they consider touching yourself there to be a homosexual act. This also includes <laughs> not using toilet paper. Wait, what? Have any, this okay. also includes not using toilet paper. How many, how, have any of you heard of this before? Yes, and I'm going to tell you something. No, you've heard this before? Yes, I have heard of this. people talking about this? Stuff? I'm going to tell, I'm go, you know I'm up on like social media and all <laughs> that stuff. I watch the shame room. Let me, let me, let me just tell, let me just tell, I'm going to tell you this. This is crazy. First of all, that's a very stupid person because you gotta realize what yeah. does hom the definition of homosexual. Yeah. If it's not happening with a man, it's not homosexual. There are guys who don't like for their women to touch any part of their butts, like e like even grab their butts like during sex or whatever. But these guys would not wipe themselves or or um, clean themselves because they didn't want to do anything gay. How dumb do you have to be? Okay. Seriously. So wait, so wait. Have, uh, okay, I'm sorry. So if, so that in my mind make me think that they believe that masturbating is gay. Cause you no, they, you no, no they think that anything you're doing to the butt area, the, like anything anus, but but yeah, it's that, but all of still that. Man on man, though. No, they they think, but that's what I'm saying. I'm telling you that they it's not that about them. They, they're exactly, they're not thinking. They're thinking that anything you, if any time their butt is touched by anybody, so it's gay. My butt that's is gay. gay. I'm, I'm, well, you, well, the only I'm thing that I've so heard what you're gonna that, do. That, has, that that connects to this story is what Riley said. They're stupid. That's the only <laughs> thing that I've heard. That, but that's, that's but that's we got We got to understand. We live. We we live in a. Let me tell you something. We live in a time where it's like a lot of. Fragile masculinity out here, and it's a lot. Yeah, of but let me tell you something, though, Jeffrey. If you are concerned that washing your butt makes you gay, you're probably gay. 
<laughs> I, agree. I agree. Or borderline. Sure. You, okay. sure. well, you wave past that borderline. So you've you gone that all that the way through your life like your I, parent never said, about, I, clean okay, your butt. It's a lot of streaks in them drawers. It's a lot of streaks. If they're going to have a clean butt, yes. Be bisexual as hell. I'm looking for all gay men. I only want to marry gay men. It's like gay, gay, gay. I want all the homosexuals. Break all the homosexuals that clean their butt. They have clean butts. I want all the homosexuals that clean their butts to, 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 to talk to oh me. Oh my God. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, all the, it's yeah. a lot of streets. Yeah, well, they're also going to end up with like colon cancer no, or something. I, I think, and the doctor's going to have to go up there. Really mm-hmm. that's, oh, yeah. my and like you said, I, two things. Raleigh says that she thinks they're stupid, and Shayna says they're probably gay. Mm. Okay, so. Oh, no, I didn't say that. I said that. Oh, Riley. So I just, I just, I just, so Riley had the So said both. I, 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 I said there's a lot of streaks in their underwear, so that's all I said. I said I'll take them gay. Okay, right, we'll see. Okay. Okay. Disgusting. Um, yeah. Sad, sad, sad. Well, we're going to let that sit right there. A, a well known British actor recently said in an interview that he turned down a $2 million payday to start in a McDonald's ad. His reason for rejecting the gig was that he doesn't really eat fast food, and does it make a difference? Does it make a difference to you um, if someone partakes in the product that they are endorsing? Yes, I think it's important. Yes. Wait, is it an endorsement or was it an acting gig? Well, it was. A, he said he was an ad, so he um, if it's an ad, he has to act or 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 portray someone. But for two million dollars in a McDonald's ad, I mean, I I kind of get his point, but. Which actor is this? <laughs> I don't know. I don't oh, no, I, wait a minute. I didn't hear the $2 million part. Sorry about $2 that. $2 million? Yeah. I'm going to tell you something. I'm pescatarian. <laughs> <laughs> and I, for probably like the last two or three years, but I haven't had that big meat. back like this. <laughs> but I don't see myself starring in a commercial where I'd have to eat a steak or beef or any kind of meat. Like, I, like because people know that I... I don't know, though. Well, and, and, and if he had to do I'm that... I'm going to bite to that burger that's been in a then I would, I, I could see him turn it down if he had to eat it. Because right. if he doesn't you make eat it meat, set. Right. You, you if he doesn't set. eat it. But, but also the integrity of your brand. If we know that you had gastric bypass surgery, but yet you're over here with these shake, um, these, um, what are those called? The You know what I'm talking about. The, what? the tummy tuck, tummy oh, tea the, the shake. Yeah. Like yeah. 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 So, but you're promoting that. I'm not going to trust you because I know you don't eat that. I know that you did something. So I think what's different for me is an endorsement and a commercial are different. Because when you say an actor, it's like I'm sure James Bond ain't James Bond. Like he's not going out shooting up people. Mm -hmm. But if you're the spokesperson. I get that point. But as an an ambassador, that's different. Different, If if you're asking me to be an ambassador of a brand, I want that to be something that you support. And as long as or a show or something like that. Yeah, but wait a minute. There's so he could do this with a hamburger. He could do this. And you, you but how about if if we go even further? I mean, Gabrielle <laughs> Union did a McDonald's ad, and I'm pretty sure she don't eat McDonald's like every single day. Well, maybe once she 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 like she did, she did Gatorade commercials. I'm pretty sure she don't exercise every day, every single day. But she would like. Shayna brings up a good point. Are you endorsing the product, yeah, or right. are you so, doing an ad for the product? Right. And and, and in some way, a, a not so bright, well, a person that doesn't know would be like it's one of the same, but it's not. <laughs> it's not. It's no, not. it's not. It's not. You could ask me to do a Pantene commercial. I'll do a Pantene ad. Mm-hmm. I don't use Pantene. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> right, exactly. Naomi Campbell just became the face of Nars. Right. right? right. I'm sure Nars isn't her favorite. It brand. is actually. I'll tell you why. Because Francois Nars sure. was one of her best friends. Mm-hmm. Is one of her best friends, yeah. Then I can't understand why she wouldn't have been it long time yeah, ago. Yeah, exactly. Well, you but know I'm what? sure she was doing way, wearing way more other brands and mm-hmm. stuff. Well, you, you bring up a good point because the next question is about Naomi Campbell. Oh, that's my okay. girl. Oh, yeah. um, <laughs> might not be after this. So super, super model Naomi Campbell said in an interview that she sometimes won't eat anything for a couple of days to maintain her slim figure. Mm-hmm. Only water or juice. Clearly, that is not the healthiest way to live, but... Have any of you gone to extremes to keep your pounds down? Yeah. Hell yes. Hell yeah. I did that once. I've I done mean, it a lot. I'm doing it now. I, <laughs> no, um, yeah. I've I've done things like <laughs> fasted or um, healthy fast. The grapefruit diet. No. Um, no, no, not healthy fat. Like 
Yeah, I've done. I I gain and well, lose weight very like easily. Healthy and unhealthy. And body. I've done extreme things to lose like ten pounds in a week. I have, and mm -hmm. and I can do that. But but like, it's not healthy. I'm not saying it's healthy, but I've done it. I've done extreme things before. I've, you know. I but went on an egg diet and, for, and got Shigella. Hmm. Uh, it's, it's a form of food poisoning. Shigella. <laughs> Shigella. 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 Where, where, your, your, where, where, where your body fluids turn to uh, to blood. Oh. Yep. Uh, and yeah. And and I I got it. Were these I, raw eggs? It was. It no. It was. It was cooked eggs. But I was eating them every day all and day. then all day every day. Wow. And I had a bad. I, I had a bad egg. And, and, and I oh you had a bad egg it was a bad egg at a at, at a um a, a Hilton downtown and uh, you're right and I was uh, 27 and it was the worst wow well you know worst. the thing is it, it's so because it's Naomi Campbell that is her job yeah so a mm. lot of people do things that may not be healthy right. for work so you've got the weight trainers and the the, the heavy mm. lifters and the bodybuilders they do things to their bodies yeah. also yeah, for their do. job yeah, yeah. that's not healthy. Mm -hmm. Right. I mean, she's a model, and she's still modeling at almost 50. So she's yeah. probably... Well, they like, asked her, they said, do you do, like, some days you don't eat? She said, oh, many days. Like, she go, like, more than one day at a time and not eat. And that's... Fast. I would pass mm -hmm. out. That's fasting. It's better than eating and vomiting. Well, yeah. she, but and, and at too. some point, that's going to catch up with her, and we know she's not getting younger. Correct. And, 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 and her body does look good. Amazing. She looks the exact same as she did uh -uh. years ago. Are you kidding uh -uh. me? Nope. Her body? Nope. And, and when we get off set at some point, I'm going to show you a picture of when I did um, Soul of 7th Avenue and look at Naomi Cameron now and look at her. She, of course, she's older. She's still she looks, she looks good. She looks, good. Sure. She looks mm -hmm. damn good. But Naomi Campbell is gr aging gracefully. She is. She's aging gracefully, but she does not look like she did when she first saw it. And I wouldn't expect her to. Okay. I'm just making well, a That body still okay, snaps. But that body is tight. She does Pilates. Yeah. And, she's and she does say she work out every day. She swears by Pilates. Yeah. I would book her if I had the coins. So that's all I'm saying. Okay, that's all I'm saying. And have all the water she needs. <laughs> she she right. can eat water, breath water mints. I don't, I don't care. Water and juice. <laughs> but, um, that, that food budget would be very low. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, okay. we're going to take another break, and we'll be right back. Again, I'm Alvin King, and this is We Speak. is everywhere, especially at my school. Mm. Education Through Music Los Angeles partners with inner city schools to put music into the classroom, where music belongs. Music is my favorite subject. My mom says it wakes up my brain. Math is kind of easier now. Next year I get to learn guitar. Support our music programs. Please visit etmla.org. Music is everywhere. When I was in foster care, I never knew when I would have to move. So I always had my suitcase ready to go. Then one day, I was adopted. My new parents opened their hearts and home to me. My parents cook my favorite breakfast for me every morning. My parents take me on trips I never thought I would go on. They gave me a home and an even better reason to use that suitcase. My parents aren't perfect, but they're perfect for me. Have you ever been walking down the street with your best bro, and while you're walking you accidentally touch hands? You think to yourself, that was weird, but I'm not gay. You are. You are gay. According to the new legal definition of gay enacted by President Chuck Norris, you are gay. Also, if you inadvertently make eye contact with another dude at a bar, you're gay. And if you walk in on your friend taking a dump, totally gay. Why? Why? Why are you following me? Why my hoodie make me look suspicious? Why does my music make me dangerous? Why are people that are supposed to protect me attacking me? Why are you playing me? 
Why do you think I'm dangerous? Why do I fear the people who are supposed to protect me? Why can't I make a peace sign without you labeling the gang sign? Why does standing on ground only work when I'm on the ground? Why do you show this photo over this one? Why do you only stop and frisk me? Why do you have low expectations for me? Why can't I run down the street without causing alarm? Why do you think I'm a thug? Why do you assume I'm armed? Why can't I break? Why is my mom scared every time I leave the house? Why are you targeting me? Why am I a target? Why? 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 I know why. And it has to stop. It must stop. Because I have dreams. Because I can change the world. Because I will make a difference. Because I have a family. Because I am strong. Because I am talented. I have a voice. I can find a cure. I have goals. I can lead the country. I am determined. I have a future. Because I'm a scholar. I am powerful. I'm someone's friend. I'm someone's brother. I'm someone's son. Someone loves me. And because my life matters too. My life matters. 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 Our lives matter. And so did theirs. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, hopefully, you have uh, been t you've tuned in and you've been watching us tonight, and uh, because we've truly been on fire. And speaking of fire, ladies and gentlemen, now it's time for rapid fire. Are Come you guys ready? Fire. Are you guys ready? Come okay, with. okay. How this works? Because I know Jeffrey is, you know, back again. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm, I'm going to call out two <laughs> words, and you tell me which one works for you, okay. basically. All okay. Right. How we doing? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Dogs or cats? Dogs. Dogs. Neither. Dogs. Oh, neither. <laughs> okay. Uh, baths or showers? Showers. Hi. Toast or bagels? Toast. Toast. Juggling or hiking? Hiking. 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 Cardio or, or weights? Wait. Um, steak or Stop. salad? Cardi we went really fast, dude. Do we not give a chance to even answer? <laughs> I know, but I can't even like. <laughs> she just like, <laughs> like what you uh. no, no, during the break, she told Jeffrey. <laughs> okay, <laughs> she she go over she. You rapid fire. Steak or salad? Salad. Steak. I don't eat meat. Right. I'm with you, salad. Facebook. Or Twitter. No, Twitter. <laughs> Twitter. Instagram. Twitter. Twitter. Yeah. Instagram. While walking, music or podcast? Music. music. Hi. Ah, music. What's the difference? Between music and a podcast? Oh, oh, podcast meaning talking. Like just yes. to, yeah, to talk, okay, talk, okay, talk, okay, talk, got okay, got it. Okay. Because some of my podcasts are music. So I was like, what's the oh, difference? Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, very um good. buy a nice car or a nice home interior. Nice home interior. Mm -hmm. A car. Need another one. Wow, that's a hard one. No, mm. not at all. I don't care about that. It's okay. Do you are ready? Fire. That's what it is. It's not the house I'm. Uh, sneakers or sandals. Depends sneakers. on if they have a heel. Hmm, depends if your toes done. Oh yeah. No okay. sneakers. Okay. Sneakers. Okay. Yeah. okay. <laughs> not really. <laughs> Glasses or contacts. 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 Mm. 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 Hamburger or taco. Taco. Taco Tuesday. <laughs> Neither. Couch or recliner. Couch. Couch. Emails Ew. or letters. 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 It depends. It depends because mm -hmm. a good letter. No, baby. Is, it letter, man, you took your time on that. You wrote this. Come on now, mm -hmm. Jeffrey. I still write hand notes. A little <laughs> simple. Lost art. Because I'm a lady. Right. Passenger or driver? Passenger. Driver. <laughs> Wait a minute, say that. Passenger or driver? Passenger. <laughs> Dishwasher or hand washer? Dishwasher. Dishwasher. I'd say get a loofah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> for your dishes. Wait, let it run down. <laughs> let it run down. <laughs> What's more important in a partner? An in intelligence or a good sense of humor? Intelligence. Mm. Oh, good sense of humor. A good sense of humor. Humor. A good sense of humor. Okay, there you go. I'm sorry. Good sense of humor. You, you need to be smart to deal with me. We can laugh later. Okay. So we, okay you need, you, you I can laugh need with anybody. You can laugh with anybody, but you need to be smart. <laughs> Common sense, you can bring that along too, okay? <laughs> Also, that ain't popular. Now you pick it up. Now you pick it up. Also, in a partnership, great sex or companionship? Great sex. Companionship. Mm. Wow. Uh, I got friends. Okay, great. Great sex. <laughs> no, companionship. I think, I think 
great, great sex can go a long way. But isn't isn't all sex good when you have a great companionship? Check this out. It means more. When it's you one or the other. You get one or the other. You don't get to choose in this right. scenario. Rapid. I mean, in a perfect fire. world. Yeah. See, so, that's I'm next. Sex. Okay. <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. What would you What would you have What would you want to have more of? Money or free time? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Money. Money. Because I can Cause shop I, online. I can, I can buy my free time. I can buy my free time. <laughs> <One foot. laughs> can buy free time. Well, I, have one right. okay. I don't need I can use time. my BCS. <laughs> Money. <laughs> amusement park or day at the beach? Day at the beach. 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 <laughs> Toilet paper over or under? Over. 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 I hate over. Over. Under. Never be under. Cups in the cupboard, right side. Up or upside down? I right care. side up. Down. Clean. Oh. Clean. Right side up. I'm sorry, that's not the a. The lip a, a, is touching the bottom of your. That you, you want, didn't you clean want out. The lip touching. <laughs> no, I want it up. Oh, up. Okay. He said he wants it down. I, I want it. I have all mine down. Wait, you know this is that, back that's toilet disgusting, paper, right? right? But you Do don't you wipe put, it out. Don't is this back in the toilet um, paper? Paper. Like a barrier. Yeah, over. What kind of barrier? So they have like it's, those little it's cushy lining. Yeah, it's like the liners. But it doesn't matter. Still, t- the lips are touching that. You change them regularly. Oh God, no, you don't. No. Yeah. Clearly, he has good the hygiene. But I mean, pancake you don't let them stay there for long. No, he don't. Pancake or waffle? Where are you putting a napkin? You putting a paper towel? In there? <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter. It's still something touching there. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Right. But Pan- it's touch something else. Okay, but then pancakes you have or waffles. Go- Pancake. 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 Coke or Pepsi? Neither. Neither. <laughs> Vanilla Coke. Pepsi. 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 We talked about this tonight. Clear liquor or dark liquor? Dark, dark, dark liquor. liquor. Okay. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I, was, I, like I, was, I was gonna say or. <laughs> or. <laughs> Blinds or curtains? Curtains. Blinds. Blinds. Ice coffee or hot coffee? No coffee. Hot. Ice, ice coffee. Hot. I like ice coffee. <laughs> mm-hmm. Save or spend? Save. 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 What's easier, Spend. being Yellow. honest? What's What's easier, being honest or sparing, or sparing others' feelings? Being honest. Being, being honest. honest is easier. Being honest, yeah. Uh, TV or books? TV. Ugh. TV. TV. Movies what's at home or TV? movies in the theater? <laughs> movies movies in, in the theater. I, you know what? I was movies in the theaters have been very good to me but movies at home now is so easy you can I like the experience see of, and now they make it with the recliners and they serve mm-hmm. alcohol they so they make to bring it more your tra- home to the mm-hmm. you can watch it yeah. yeah, they got a lot of the they, 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 <laughs> they, yeah, they've been making a lot of cine, uh, cine bistros lately, so. at the theater mm-hmm. yeah um, but, but it's like a bar they have bars and stuff now like yeah. they make it more of a club like mm-hmm. experience Netflix is doing yeah, the, they're doing their Netflix thing. and Hulu they got Hulu. the new theaters yeah. that have the experience yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. you can smell mm-hmm. it shoots water on you, like it does. Shoots like, water on you? Yeah. No, scene. thank you, honey. Oh, like, I think yeah, the four D. You can turn that. the wet off. <laughs> the water part. You can turn <laughs> the wet off. Yeah. You can say turn no water, off. but turn you got the rest the of the experience. Like, little mer- the no, no Little Mermaid, don't do this. <laughs> oh, see, that, that that's another whole topic, okay? <laughs> Drama, no, comedy, or horror flick? Comedy. Drama, comedy. Mac or PC? It was three. It was rep. Yeah, he... Mac. Mac or PC? Mac or PC? Mac. Mac. Uh, when sleeping, when sleeping, naked or clothing? Naked. 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 iPhone or Android? iPhone. Android. Cake. iPhone. Cakes or Android. pies? Cakes. Cakes. Cake. Rich friends or loyal friends? Loyal friends, loyal. but I have rich a lot of rich friends, friends too. <laughs> I. You could buy rich, rich friends. You I don't could buy loyal friends. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> okay. But, Benjamin um, is my lawyer. I'm not going to ask. Well, uh, uh, there's something on the teleprompter. Okay, no. Sex or masturbation. No, I'm just kidding. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm just kidding. Ooh. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. It was sex or masturbation, but I'm just kidding. Uh-huh. Okay, okay no, 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 no. Or- okay, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> I was just kidding. Ladies and gentlemen, we are at the end of Rapid Fire. Thank you very much. Oh. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh. That was cool. Um, and now, a moment of clarity. The video said this dog can't stop smiling and wants to be adopted so bad. Oh my god, this dog is so precious. I'm coming home with this dog tomorrow. I walked in and I was like, can I see the smiling dog? Oh my gosh, she's so cute. She's so tiny. Her eyes are so light and it's just so pretty. She like immediately would burrow over her head and the nook of her neck. Ugh, heart melt. They found her on one of the main highways over here. They said she was pretty close to being hit. We were the first ones to come up here. I 
first night. She walked in and was like, cool, this is my new place. We just did one by one. I was sniffing each other. She just walked right up to Lady and just bit her collar and was kind of like, hey, come with me and play with me. Sadie, like a walking cotton ball. Literally the first two days, she acted like she didn't exist. They do everything together. Brutus took a long time to warm up to her. I guess he's not used to any other dogs trying to get in his bed because he's the biggest dog. I just could tell when we picked her up that she would fit in perfectly. It was meant to be. It's all of ladies' toys. She makes the funniest noises. She, she grunts and growls. And the first time she did it, we were like, was that Layla? She's real clumsy right now. She was young, she'd never been around stairs before. She didn't want to go to the bathroom. She would rather wait until we sat there and played with her and petted her and kissed her. And she's so cute. I get home and she jumps up and she'll stretch up all the way. You can really see the smile like yeah. big time when she's looking up at you. It looks like she's just so happy in her home. We are suckers for cute little animals that need help. They're so sweet. They just love unconditionally. They're so innocent. This has been an incredible show today. Uh, you guys were, as usual, on fire, like I said. Um, um, ladies and gentlemen, remember, if you would like to see more episodes of our show, check us out at YouTube.com. Keyword, We Speak the Talk Show. No spaces. Just We Speak the Talk Show. Um, if you have any questions or comments, you can reach us on Facebook at We Speak or on Instagram at We Speak underscore the talk show. Uh, again, I'd like to thank every, uh, thank you, uh, I, excuse me, I'd like to thank our very hard-working crew for their participation in making us sound and look so good, as always. And as always, I thank you for watching and ask that you join us again when next we speak.